Time to go to school! Time to go to school! Time to go to school! Aren't you all excited for school, everyone? Especially during this time? No, I think I'd rather get lost in Newtopia or New York, mm. whichever. <laughs> so welcome back, everyone, to the Frogs of Calamitous Intent. We are in Newtopia now. It's time to see what the city has to offer. And what would you say the uh, two episodes were today? So it's uh, Lost in Newtopia and Sprig gets school. Oh god, that's all we need to be reminded of right now is school. <laughs> I won't lie, I hated school growing up. I hated elementary, I hated high school, I hated college. I, I was not a school person, so... Not that I didn't have some good experiences, it's just I'm just not the academic type. Mm. <laughs> You have way better experiences than I had. Yeah, I mean, I have a very love-hate relationship with school in general. I, I, I do well, like, in class, but doing homework always killed me. I, I was never... Homework is never the devil. Never good at it, yeah. <laughs> Interesting to see how Spray's gonna do in a university. I mean, I assume they're just gonna be touring and he's gonna, like, wander into, like, you know, a random mm. class or something. Maybe it'll be like in the Avatar where Sokka stumbles upon that haiku class. Mm. <laughs> no, it's uh, Aang going into the Fire Nation school and trying to flame me hot man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, at least it'll be interesting to see how they teach in the, mm. how they teach things in Utopia because I'm wondering like what their whole process is because they because a lot of people there seem to like be you know rather intelligent mm. almost to the point of looking down on others so i'm wondering if uh they teach about like all of newtopia because we know that marcy has studied stuff so i'm wondering if that's ready readily available to like all the members of newtopia all right. so let's get started shall we and let's let's uh tour newtopia and class is in session mm -hmm. oh my god oh, there it is <laughs> finally did they get like stuck in the moss or something? <laughs> He's wearing a cheese hat. <laughs> I didn't know we were in uh, Green Bay. <laughs> Hot Pop's a Packers fan. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't want to grow up. I'm a Tales of Us kid. With a temporary tail until your new one grows back. Okay. Oh yeah, dudes do uh, lose their tails. <laughs> oh Jesus. We got a whale of a tail to tell you lies. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> Ooh, they looking thick. <laughs> Tailored for you. Uh, <laughs> and use tail whip. It's super effective. Tail slap, baby, tail slap. Chased. <laughs> no. Now to see what Sprig's up to. Princeton. Princeton. <laughs> According to movies back home, you can do crazy things and be horribly irresponsible with no consequences. Sure. <laughs> sure. Whoa, 
Yeah, you're gonna have time to do all that. Mm. Ultimate frisbee. The, be the ultimate sport of college. <laughs> Big to be a dorm. Yeah, too spacious. What's your deal? Yeah, there's got to be something else going on. Perspectives, but it just eh. 
Well, like, we'll start with the first one. Mm -hmm. um, the first one was at least amusing. Yeah. With like them going around the seedy underbelly of the city, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Again, as I said before, Anne and Polly are dicks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get they're trying to have fun and everything, but when you start ruining people's livelihoods and, you know, mocking th their customs and everything, you go a little too far. Because, like, can you imagine if someone, like, went to, like, one of the Chinese parades and started doing that with the mm. head, like, ugh. I wouldn't think they'd just give the, uh, the head to anybody who just nah. walked up. Yeah. I mean, I assume that, for the most part, it was, like, a casual celebration, but even still, mm. it's like, again, it's like going to a, uh, going to a Memorial Day thing and, like, drawing all over the uh, things Before. of, like, of like the veterans. <laughs> it's just, ugh. I mean, it was nice to see, you know, what kind of food they offer, what their fashion was and everything, and their how they celebrate, but the fact that it, that we had to see Anne and Polly, like, basically ruin all that in order to see it was kind of like, ugh. Mm -hmm. And they have a cheese factory. <laughs> so they're Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. I never would have guessed. And Polly can shoot fire out of her mouth. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I always pictured her as a firebender. <laughs> but the real fascination of the episode was obviously with Marcy and the King. Mm -hmm. So there's a secret tunnel that... Secret tunnel. <laughs> that secret the King tunnel. apparently didn't know about. I guess we'll find out either next episode or in a future episode what, what the heck's that down there. I assume it leads to like probably like a cave or something or has like a prophecy or whatever. That's, that's what I can only mm. guess at. And then the next episode, uh, Spring gets schooled. I am so confused by that episode. It's like, I expected them to go visit the university, and I expected Sprig to maybe sit on, sit in on a lecture or two or something, but to have, like, I guess it was the dean or someone actually admit him to the school, and it, was, it wasn't even based on anything academic. It was just based on, like, you know, knowledge of a certain creature. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, you're definitely college material. We'll admit you right away, even though you're just a child. That made no sense. Like, I was pretty certain there was some... there. Like, as Hop Hop said, there was, like, it was an elaborate trap or some mm. big setup to, like, capture Sprig for some weird reason. That, or they were looking for some, you know, some sort of diversity that Sprig filled. But none of that made sense. No. And, like, I get it was a prep school, but... I wouldn't think they'd be that level of stuff. No. Because that, that's the thing with colleges, is that they're not as strict as high school is. Because with high school, it's like, you have to show up to class. You have to dress a certain way. You have to appear to a schedule. With college, it is a lot more lax, at least based on my experience. You, know, you can choose your classes. You can choose whether or not to show up. Co your teachers generally don't give a shit. Like, I mean, it, it really you... depends on, like, if you're doing a lecture or if you're, you know, in, in a class where you, you know, are working pretty closely with the teacher. They were even doing classes that were, like, you think would be held strictly to high school. Because, mm -hmm. like, they were dissecting worms. Unless you were, like, a biology major, that's usually not a basic requirement. <laughs> Maybe yes. he was on some sort of remedial thing. I guess, but, mm. like, to give him that many classes on the first day and then be like, oh, yeah, you, you didn't do that well the first day, but we're going to give you more classes the next day. Mm. Just, what was this guy's mentality? I don't understand. Like, I assume this is a spoof of, like, you know, college movies where it's, like, you know, the slacker does something weird, but he gets rewarded for it. Yeah. But, like, even then, like, it's, it's like, colleges isn't, is not really that forgiving. You're, you're not going to find, you know, somebody who's, like, going to push for you. Usually they kind of leave you to your own devices for the most part. And, you know, if you fail, it's on you, nobody else. I don't know, that, that, that just felt all over the place and, like... I don't know what the hell they were doing with this. And the whole school. security thing, that was so misleading. Because it's like, first off, I don't know any college that would have that level of security. I mean, I expect high schools to have that. But colleges, like, I used to go in and out all the time at all hours of the night. And nobody said shit. I mean, on the one hand, they did say, you know, they are in the city, so there's all yeah. sorts of, you know, crazy yeah, people I mean, out that, there. I guess that's understandable, yeah. but like... So, I mean, in that sense, yeah, but the fact that they would just, like, up and lock the dorms like that. Yeah, they had, like, 
this is like a prison system. Yeah. And like, I get school is supposed to be like prison, but colleges no. are usually better than that, and they don't have locks like that typically on dorms. Yeah, especially with colleges, you know, that that's not really supposed to be a prison. That's, you know... You're there, you're just paying a hell of a lot to be You're there, there because so you want own, to be there. Yeah, it's your own mostly. personal prison, if anything. Yeah. But, yeah, it's it's definitely not supposed to resemble anything like a, a prison. I just love that Hop Hop, like, after, you know, stating that this was his dream for his grandchildren to get a higher education, which is a good dream to have, you know. Most parents, grandparents want that for their children. Like, once he, like, lets them go and is like, yeah, I, I'm not ready to let you go yet. I'm going to homeschool you for life, and you're going to stay at the bottom of the barrel for the rest, and, like, never aspire for anything outside Whoa. town. It's like, Whoa. how do you go from one Whoa. extreme to the other after a day? Yeah. It's like, I get it. Like, he's not ready to let go of his grandkids, which is understandable because they're still kids. Mm -hmm. But to say, oh, yeah, you're never going mm -hmm. to college now, no. like, Jesus Christ. No, I appreciate what, uh, what, what Spriggs said, like, at the end. It's like, right now, I don't want it. But maybe, you know, in the future, who knows? Yeah. I think that's that's the perfect way of doing it. I am glad that they at least kept that yeah. open for him. Although, yeah. again, I question how he can just easily be enrolled without, you know, having any of the requirements, you know, no certain level, no certain GPA, no recommendation from teachers, like, uh, no SAT scores, like... Or whatever the world's equivalent of that is, like they can just he can just waltz right in as a child and be accepted as long as he does something cool. Yeah. I mean, in this case, it was like sort of a special uh, circumstance prep course, what what have you. Yeah, you think even being yeah. in a prep school, the, the requirements for for enrolling would be even higher than a regular college. It just oh, this episode made no sense, and it hurts my brain. Like I said, I mean, though it is still true that colleges like. They'll do some crazy things to stand out, to get themselves noticed. Mm -hmm. It's like, like I went to a private school and the things that they were spending their money on, it's like, really? Mm -hmm. And it's like, they're, they're really promoting, you know, global diversity and, uh, and you know, global learning and everything like that is like, you know, don't, don't ever underestimate what a college will do to make it stand out. No, I believe it. Um, this isn't my college, but it was a college near where I used to live. Um, they got like grant money or something, and what did they do? Instead of expanding the parking lot or giving like teacher supplies or doing anything useful, they spent it on a gigantic table for their uh, meeting room. And it was like covered with like gold and glass and stuff, and it was like it weighed like over 2,000 pounds, was shipped in from China. <laughs> I just remember like there was actual like protests on the college campus because once they found out that happened. But I'm like, I'm not surprised because a lot of colleges would do crap like that to make mm -hmm. themselves seem more highbrow because the more highbrow they seem, the more they can charge for tuition. It's, it's total bull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, like we said. Community college, kids. Community college. Yeah, I went to community college. Mm. There is no shame in it. Nope. <laughs> if anything, you get out of college faster. <laughs> assuming you put in the work. <laughs> so, what's next week's episode? So, next week we have Little Frog Town and Hopping Mall. Everybody come, come and play. Throw every last care away. Let's go to the mall next week. <laughs> Yeah, I assume we're going to see what malls are like in Utopia. Mm -hmm. As for, uh, what was it, the little town? What little was it? Uh, frog town. I assume maybe it's like little Chinatown, maybe? Mm -hmm. Could be. But then again, whatever we did have what, kind of... Whatever their version of Chinatown is, mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> it's Chinatown. Yeah. No, <laughs> but, I mean, we did already kind of get a little Chinatown vibe from that, you know, Yeah, I guess. Lost in Utopia. But we'll see. Well, maybe they go to, like, the equivalent of Canal Street in New York or mm -hmm. something. They go to Hop, Hop, Hop Town. <laughs> like, you'll, you'll see, they'll go, they'll pass a bunch of stands that have, like, nothing but bootleg stuff and fireworks. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I assume they're just more Utopia episodes, you know, see, showing more of the diversity of the city and everything. Because we've already seen what the common streets are like and what their school is like. So now let's see what the malls and uh, maybe, you know, the more, uh, the culturally diverse sections are like. I'm hoping that also we get a little bit more plot, too. Oh, yeah, we saw the robot briefly. Yes, I was like, <laughs> finally. Is he, like, stuck in, like, the moss or something mm -hmm. trying to get to the city? <laughs> it's 
slowly but surely, it's getting there. I know. I'm wondering, like, when eventually he's going to catch yeah. up. It's taking him long enough. It's probably, like I said, it's going to, when, when the uh, convergence of, of every character happens. And he just happens to show up, like, mm. I'm here to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time, everyone, join us as we head to the mall. And, uh, ho and hopefully we don't spend a fortune on shoes. Shoes. Oh my god, shoes. That's got some shoes. <laughs>